There are two types of Hot Wheels people out there. There are the collectors and there are the resellers. I've been wanting to make this video for a while now, but I didn't really want to come off as someone who was just complaining or ranting. I kind of wanted to start a conversation about this ongoing thing that's been happening in the community. And it affects all of us, all of us collectors, because there are resellers that buy a large quantity of a Hot Wheels or a premium Hot Wheels or even an RLC and they resell it for way more than the retail price. I've talked about this a couple of times in previous videos when it came up when it was about the pink RLC Skyline and the Integra. I talked about how fast those sold out and the frustrating thing is that a lot of people buy either by multiple accounts or use bots to buy a large quantity so that way they can resell it and make their profit back that's been a problem for a while now since rlc has exploded and boomed into this very popular thing i've made plenty of videos on rlc and they have done exceptionally well so i kind of i want to go back to why i'm making this video so i saw this image on Instagram and it really made me upset it made me upset because this guy has four super treasure hunts and these treasure hunts are the Datsun wagon which is the most one of the most popular RLCs of 2023 what really made me upset is that he went through 80 cases he went through all those cases and found four of them and someone else also found another uh, another four of those exact supers and kept them for themselves. I would understand if you are a collector because for collectors you would buy two, one to open and one to keep in the packaging. But for resellers, they are just greedy pigs who want to continue to buy and resell product to other collectors like myself who really want to have that in their collection. Could have just left at least maybe one or two. I mean, again, it's just greed. I'm not expecting for the whole world to change after I release this video. As a matter of fact, it's actually going to get worse. It's going to get so bad that managers of these grocery stores or these um, super stores, they're going to have to have a disclaimer saying that people can't ask other employees or hassle them for unopened cases or... They can't have inside people giving them unopened cases. The whole world of Hot Wheels collecting is a very interesting one because if it's valuable and it's rare, people are going to stop at nothing to get a large quantity of that and make a profit off of it. That goes about with anything in life, whether it's concert tickets that have been sold out or even a PS5. And if you guys have been long members of this channel, you know how hard I struggled to get a PS5. I never paid a scalper for something that I really wanted. I either waited for someone to give me a really good deal within my community or I just don't get it and I just accept that I couldn't get it. My whole mind process is why should I pay you more money because you beat me to the punch? Or why should I pay you a premium when this is the retail? Unless it's something that's rare and something that has very low stock and it's been quite a while that they're not in stores anymore, then I can understand that. But if it's like a premium that's that goes for roughly seven bucks and just because it's a Toyota or a Honda or some kind of JDM, it goes up by $10 and it's like 15 bucks for this premium, I'm not gonna pay for that. I, I think that's just absolutely absurd. Uh, that's that's when it gets into this is just scalping. It's it's just not something that I support and I highly recommend you guys don't support it either. So what are some solutions to this problem? Well, you can't really stop resellers or scalpers. They're always going to get a large quantity of stock and resell them for more than retail price. But the one thing you can do if you're buying premiums is to try to buy a case of premiums. Yes, this will be around 68 bucks roughly and you get 10 premiums which is more than enough for
for you. You can open them and you can have a whole set unopened. So that way you can save it for later. The reason why I recommend doing this is because by buying a whole case, A, you have a chance of getting a chase, which with a lot of Hot Wheel premiums, they have that. And B, you can pretty much buy each car at retail price. If there's six, if the whole case is 68 bucks, you are roughly spending $8 a car, roughly, or $7 a car. Yeah, it would probably be $7 a car, less than $7 a car in that case, which is saving you a lot of money. It's saving you gas from trying to go to the store and trying to beat someone to the punch. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know down in the comments below. I am 20 subs away from becoming a thousand, which is going to make me a YouTube member and the channel can be monetized, which is awesome. So if you guys can help me with my dream, that would be absolutely lovely. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.